my kitchen. We're in Huntington, New York, and I am about to head out to Southampton for the day for uh, a typical day at work. All right. Got the Prius. So we drive 60 miles every uh, each way. We're off. I did see the check engine light. I'm, I'm sure it's nothing. I was born in Levittown. Uh, ended up an English major at, uh, at, uh, at Fordham University in the Bronx. And then a real consequence for me professionally, I got a temp job uh, at Lincoln Center for the Performing Arts uh, in their press office. I was at Lincoln Center for 16 years. I was the founding director of the David Rubenstein Atrium. And then finally, I was in an operations role at Lincoln Center. In early 2018, my wife and I loaded the kids uh, into the car, uh, and we drove out east for for a day. There's a little traffic here. This is a total surprise. And uh, that very night, I saw the job listing for the um, uh, executive director post at Southampton Arts Center. And I, you know, instantly knew that this was the right uh, next move for me. Amy, how are you? Oh, sorry, on the phone. This is the office. Best part of the office is that I have a view down into the gallery below, which just couldn't be more beautiful. What's in the attic? Or should or you not talk about what's in the I, attic? I'm, I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to discuss what's in the attic. So this is the entirety of our administrative staff here. Uh, we've got Amy Kerwin, our artistic director. Got Godfrey Palaya, our director of production and venue operations. Um, but as you can see, it's pretty small. All right, so why don't we do this meeting? Okay. So the meeting that we're about to have is a calendar and operations meeting. Saturday morning, we have a drum circle at 9.30, which requires, sorry, 10.30, which requires nothing of us. I'll uh -huh. be here, but he brings drums and we sit in a circle and it's really fun, actually. Has, um, any, has anybody ever written to Jay Schneiderman? The soup town oh, supervisor. To tell him about Because he's a drummer. I he's know, a percussionist. Yeah. I will do so because okay. uh, yeah, I think I mean, it would be a fun way to engage him. I know yeah, he cares about, totally. about that. The, the physical location of Southampton Arts Center at, at 25 Job's Lane is a, literally at the crossroads at the center of, of this village. In 2013, it was incorporated as the Southampton Arts Center. Over the last four years, our programs and our audience, our reach has quadrupled. We're in the Hamptons, which is world famous and utterly affluent, but we're also a year-round resident residential community, and a lot of our, uh, of our neighbors and members of our community are underserved and underrepresented. We endeavor to design a program and a, an experience to make sure that everybody in this community knows that this is an organization for them, that they're welcome here. Uh, out on the West Lawn, there's um, an open gate. For many, many years, the fencing went straight across, but when the founders organized, they felt it was important to open up those gates symbolically to let everybody know that, that this was a place for everybody. You know, this is my first ED role. I knew this was the, the next place for me to go. It brings together, you know, 20 plus years of work as, uh, as a creative and as an administrator and as an operator at Lincoln Center. You know, uh, my time at the David Rubenstein Atrium is directly influencing the, the good and important work that we're doing here uh, at SAC. The exhibition that we have uh, on view right now is called Takeover. We've invited nine um, uh, East End-based artists to have pop-up studios uh, and to be in residence uh, here uh, at Southampton Arts Center. The idea here is to sort of throw the doors wide open. We're demystifying the process. What goes into making works of art? Part of the job of the you know, executive director is to represent the institution publicly. And a lot of what I do is you know, getting out there and telling our story. It's not enough to just send an email or to do an e-blast or to put a poster out. We literally have to engage uh, and other find people from the community who care about the types and nature of shows that we're presenting, literally pull them in by the hand. So for uh, the duration of TakeOver, uh, every Thursday night we extend our hours and we have uh, what we're calling hangouts, right? Which is 
uh, in effect, just an open house. We bring in uh, some additional talents. Tonight, we've got a singer-songwriter. There's nothing exclusive about what we're doing here. There's little or no barriers for entry, right? So, uh, you know, the idea of these hangouts uh, are, are just squarely in the sweet spot of what we're hoping to accomplish. As I mentioned, there's only a handful of us here. So what's nice about an organization this small is that I literally have my hands in everything. What we've got here is a ping pong emergency. The net broke moments before the hangout. Uh, and Amy and Godfrey are doing emergency surgery to make sure that make sure that ping pong can happen tonight. Otherwise, there will be angry mobs. Do you know about this altar behind this temp wall here? It's an altar behind a temp wall. That is an altar behind a temp wall, of course, that we hang art on. I think that my job, more than anything else, is to support and realize the work of my artistic collaborators, to ask and answer questions. Is this the right project for SAC right now? Is it on mission? Are we serving our constituencies? Are we being mindful of who we want to attract and bring into the institution? It's my job to sort of help focus everybody and prioritize on how we're going to continue to, um, you know, professionalize and concretize the operations here. Another hangout in the books. Nice turnout tonight. I think that's enough for the day. And I am going to go home. So I guess you would call that um, a typical day uh, in the life of an executive director of a small art center, if there is such a thing as a typical day. It was great to have all the artists, uh, all of uh, everybody here to, um, uh, to participate and to, um, uh, you know, interact with members of our community. It was a, I think it was a pretty special day. <laughs>